We are Emma, Sean, Rex and Maggie. Join us as we explore the UK and beyond in our old motorhome Rene. So where are we, Emma? Um, well, we were supposed to be spending a second night at that campy old Biscaros place. Sud. South. South, yeah. Uh, no, weren't impressed with that, were we? No. Um, so we left this afternoon and decided to come a little bit further south. And we're actually at a little camping car park stop um, in Gast, I think it's pronounced. Anyway, it's just south of the Biscaros Lake, um, right at the bottom of the lake, overlooking the lake. That's our pitch. So yeah, so we've got a uh, lakeside pitch with the boats in front. It's lovely and quiet. We're on a camping car uh, park uh, stopover, which is perfect. We've got free Wi-Fi. We've topped up our wa water, got rid of our waste. Um, the only thing this place doesn't have is electric on every pitch. So there is an electric point over there. So if you're desperate, you can plug in for a bit. Um, uh, but yeah, but we don't need it. So we're all good. So we've been for a walk. Uh, it's nice and quiet and you not use the exercise machines. I use you? the exercise machines cut to pictures of me <laughs> using exercise machines. What have you found there? Some exercise equipment. You did see a big Is it called the frog? <laughs> I'm not sure you're supposed to be doing that at all. Does it look weird? <laughs> <laughs> it made for people with very small legs. <laughs> yeah, I did like that sort of. <laughs> yeah, went for a little walk uh, with the dogs and now we're back in the van uh, having a nice cup of tea, or we will do when Sean puts the kettle on um so yeah so uh yeah we just didn't like that place at all it was uh basically we don't know if they were staff or just people with sort of seasonal pitches but um i think there were seasonal pitches yeah they? um it looked like skid row it was literally trashy camp uh, sort of caravans and camper vans and stuff and, Tents and all just sorts, rubbish outside yeah. it was just really awful so yeah. um and after the shagging incident this morning i just was like do you know what i've had enough so uh so where are we going tomorrow so we're heading further south um so i don't know whether we'll stop in mimazan or we might go carry on and go a little bit further and go to massanges I think it's called anyway so we'll let you know tomorrow when we get up the weather's supposed to be nice tomorrow nice and sunny fingers crossed so we'll see you then is situated between Biscaros and Mimazan in the Landes Forest on the banks of Biscaros Lake. located in the port of gas overlooking the lake.
morning everyone we are staying at the camping car park in Massonges, I think it's pronounced um, which is uh, basically right on the beach it's a tiny little village um, inland and then you head to the beach which is quite touristy but it's really good for surfing so Sean's gone out for a surf this morning and I've just taken the path from the car park um, and the dogs and I are going in a bit of a wander uh, through the forest yeah so we've come on and ju oh, just a bit of a wander um, behind the sand dunes that line the front of the beach and then you've just got this beautiful pine forest area it's basically like this for miles down this bit of the beach um, this bit of France probably all the way from Bordeaux all the way down to the Spanish border it's pretty similar but there's some lovely villages that we passed through yesterday um, that really show rural France in this part of France anyway it's quite pretty um, but there's not a lot else here other than the amazing amazing beaches um, that you get all along this coast so I think the plan is for us to stay here this morning Sean's gone out for a surf like I said and then um, we're gonna head further south this afternoon we're probably gonna just head straight for Cap Breton we've got a parcel to pick up there um, tomorrow and the weather for the rest of the week isn't looking that great so sunshine and showers so we want to go somewhere that we know we've been to Cap Breton and Hossegore many many times before um, so we're gonna go there it's a little bit bigger place so there's a little bit more to do in the rain if we need to um, and then uh, we'll go from there probably in a few days time we'll probably leave the coast and head inland to the Pyrenees. this one out. Oh, where'd you get on? Yeah, good. Yeah, this is definitely better for the French waves. Good stuff. Yeah, so yeah, it's good. Enjoyed it, found my own little peak and then two other people came out and <laughs> Always found away. it with me. But yeah, it's good. Yeah, all good. Time to go then. Time to go. Let's go. <laughs>
With the weather on the turn, we headed further south to the popular motorhome air at the beach in Cap Breton. This air is all hard standing with electric and Wi-Fi, perfect to hold up in bad weather. What's up, Sean? Well, I think my dad was way ahead of the fashion trend. Look at that. That's like literally, that is, glow, that is what my dad would have worn. Check shirt. Check shirt, and a body, fleecy body, body warmer. warmer. And a pair of chinos. Yeah. <laughs> Never goes out of fashion. Never, classic, eh? Dressed like your dad. You had enough of shopping. You don't want to do any more. You're just gonna stay there. Move, to do more than just sit there, mate. Okay. Come yeah. on in, you come in. we we'll leave you All there right. then. See you later. See ya. <laughs> we were going to show you some of the shops, but as you can see, success. Finally. Patience has paid off. I finally found the top. Well done. Well done. I'll show you later. Okay. <laughs> All right then. see this very often because I don't go shopping very often but I managed to find I've been looking for a hoodie for the van but it has to be made out of fleece and I've spent a lot of time looking for one of these and I found one as you saw earlier in Hossigore and this is what it looks like so if you're a subscriber you are going to be seeing this jumper a lot because <laughs> I don't tend to buy things very often and I wear them. I wear the same thing all the time. We'll still so. be seeing that in videos in 2053. You will, you will. <laughs> I do wash them occasionally. They don't tend to smell, but yeah. So uh, yeah, this will be modeled by me a lot. Pink cap. Toasty. Welcome to Sean's fashion channel. This, yeah, welcome to my fashion channel. This is the, this is the retro 90s surfer look, which is all back in again now apparently. But this is basically how I've been dressing for the last 30 years. <laughs> Can't see your jumper now. No. There you go. Very nice. Sean's fashion channel. Meanwhile, over in Emma's corner, I need to wash my hair because it's looking minging. Yeah. Morning, everyone. Welcome to day three of pissing it down. <laughs> absolutely chucking it down has been throwing it down all night as well luckily the wind has now dropped off a little bit because it was absolutely blowing a hoolie um, I'll just show you outside the wonderful outside yep it's a rainy motorhome car park next to a beach um, so yeah, so day three of horrible rain and some might ask why we just haven't moved on. Well, um, we've been checking the forecast and the rain basically is in a band and it goes from here all the way across the Pyrenees and we are planning on going to the Pyrenees. We're going to go to Buritz first but then we're going to the Pyrenees and we really didn't want to head over there when it was uh, stormy, really stormy. So 
we decided to wait it out here basically and the rest of the country is pretty rainy as well so there's not much happening so we went shopping yesterday um, today we're going to do a bit of laundry and stuff um, before we move on um, and then yeah tomorrow I think we're going to drive down to Anglet or just north of Baritz um, because hopefully it's going to be sunny over the weekend so we might get a bit of a surf in hopefully um, yeah so that's where we're at so we're just waiting for the bread man comes around at nine o'clock um, when we get our baguette get our baguettes um, and that's about it really nothing much happening There was a short break in the weather, so we took the opportunity to head out for a walk. Checking out the World War II bunkers that litter the beach, now being decorated with colourful, thought-provoking graffiti as the sea slowly erodes them. Join us next time when we head to Anglet, also known as Little California, and the elegant city of Beeritz. Oh,